Now, Channel 3 Early Warning Weather with Chief Meteorologist Bruce DePriest. Well, this morning there was a hint of autumn in the air with temperatures in the 40s and 50s. Check out these morning lows. Windsor logs 47. The uh, record low for this date, August 26, is 44, set in 1944. We were only three degrees above that, 48 degrees in Salisbury, Willimantic 49. So a chilly start to the day. And, you know, the normal high for today is 81. We only made it up into the mid-70s for today. So a touch of September in the air for today, a very comfortable day with low humidity and there you can see on our eye cam in Hartford uh, we have a mostly sunny sky there's our eye cam in New Haven where there's a few more clouds but otherwise it's a very pleasant late afternoon as far as early warning pinpoint Doppler goes nothing to worry about there we got a nice evening ahead of us and temperature wise right now we are in the low and middle 70s 75 at Windsor Lock 72 degrees in Groton and 73 or 71 degrees in Waterbury and most of us have this maritime flow that's keeping us cool around high pressure that's to our north and east. We got this east to southeasterly flow as high as 12 miles an hour in Groton, but we do have a mainly clear sky, just a few clouds up there. High pressure will stay in control of our weather. Now we do have some showers off to our west and these are gonna take a long time to get here. So it's not until late Wednesday or Wednesday night when we'll see our next chance for showers. Meanwhile, off the southeast coast of the United States, this area of enhanced clouds here, that is a tropical depression that just formed this afternoon. It's tropical depression number six. It's wet packing winds of about 35 miles an hour, and it's moving to the east very slowly for the time being at only two miles an hour. It is forecast to develop into a tropical storm. If it does, it's going to be named Aaron. But it's forecast to stay well off the east coast of the United States, passing to the east of New England on a Thursday with winds of 50 miles an hour. So except for maybe some high surf and some big swells out in the ocean, there's not going to be any major impact on our weather here in uh, Connecticut. So futurecast shows that we'll have a clear to partly cloudy sky as we go through tonight and then for tomorrow, a mix of sun and clouds. Another comfortable day with temperatures likely staying in the 70s. Then as we go into Wednesday, we have that front approaching from the west and a little bit of offshore moisture from uh, what could become Aaron. We might have a couple of showers either late Wednesday or Wednesday night, but it doesn't look like any significant rainfall heading our way. All right, lows tonight again, 40s and 50s. We'll see a general range of 45 to 55, and your highs for tomorrow, mid to perhaps upper 70s with a mix of clouds and sun. Here is your seven day forecast. Wednesday will top 80 with a chance for late showers, late in the day showers, where showers could hold off until Wednesday night. And then Thursday, a chance for a morning shower, then becoming partly to mostly sunny, a high of 84. Friday, partly sunny, 84. There could be a shower late Friday or Friday night. Then the Labor Day weekend, well, Saturday and Sunday look beautiful. Highs near 80. Saturday, sunny. Sunday, partly to mostly sunny in 78. But there may be a shower threat on Monday, Labor Day. For the shoreline tomorrow, we're forecasting a high of 75. Okay.